guys. Happy Planner Wednesday. And this spread is from August 13th through August the 19th. And what I'm doing this week is The Illusionist. Um, I love this movie. It is a romantic mystery. And um, one of my viewers suggested that I do it, and I love it. So I said, sure. So I made my own stickers. And it was filmed, I think, in 2006. But I would consider it a classic, really. Um, and the paper that I chose is just this because it, it's set in mid, I think, turn of the century Austria. And there's a letter involved at the end of the movie. So I picked this out. And then there's a lot of dark colors in the movie. It's in the palace with a lot of gold. So I picked out this washi, plus it's delicate like she is. And I'm just gonna use a gold Sharpie. So let me take my pages out of my planner. I'm so glad everybody loves Somewhere in Time. I loved doing that movie. I really did. Okay, I've decided that I want this paper with what looks like the letters to be my dominant paper. So I'm gonna cut this one first. And I want it to go this way, so I'm going to go ahead, even though it's a little um, puckered, I'm going to go ahead and do it that way. And I really like this paper, too. It just reminds me of the richness that you would see in the palace. And like I said, it had a lot of dark colors. Okay, let's start putting our paper down like we want it. I think this is gonna give a really good effect though. Let me move this one here. Okay, I like that, okay. Let's go ahead and start putting our paper down. I really do like that. I think that's going to be pretty. It's already giving me the vibe of the movie, so I like that. Oh, I think that looks really nice. Okay, so let's start putting our washi down. Put 
This definitely reminds me of the movie. Oh, I love that. That's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is put some right down through here. I think it will really add so much. Oh, I love that. I really love that. Okay, let's start to put our stickers down. This is just how the DVD looks, and it says The Illusionist. And um, like I said, it's set in mid-century Vienna, and it's about um, Eisenheim, The Illusionist, and he comes to town after he'd been gone for quite a while uh, because he fell in love with Sophie, who is a duchess. Uh, when they were children and she fell in love with him but they couldn't be together because he was just a cabinet maker's son and this is a picture of one night when he shows up in Vienna and opens a show and um, he sees her and she comes on sh on the stage to help him and then she realizes who he is after a while and then this is where he's putting her like in a, um, well, he's like hypnotizing her. I think I'll put that right here. And then this is where he puts a cape over her head and gets her to do things. And then here he's meeting some children on the street and they're asking for money and they said, we're poor. And he said, do you really think you're poor? Um, you really have all you need. And he gave them a lot of money. And the prince, crown prince, um, Leopold, she, Sophie is engaged to marry him, but he doesn't love her and she doesn't love him. He's very mean and violent. He's just trying to overthrow his father. So um, he wants to try to debunk the illusionist, so he invites him to the palace to perform. So he does. And during that performance, the illusionist gets Leopold's sword from him and asks to see it. And he does something that totally humiliates Leopold. And then Leopold wants him shut down. And this is the illusionist Eisenheim talking to Sophie. 
there at the palace. And then this is the um, chief inspector who is working for the crown uh, prince, who really down deep is a good person, um, but right now he's just on the payroll of the crown prince. And he's trying to run the illusionist out of town and he watches every move Sophie makes. And so then this is the crown, um, then this is the inspector coming to tell the crown prince that he has found out that the illusionist and Sophie have been secretly seeing one another. I think I'll put this one right here. And then this is where Sophie and the crown prince have a fight because she tells him she's leaving him and she ends up dead in the water. I think I'll put that up here. And then this is where Eisenheim starts supposedly getting her spirit to come back and say who killed her. So I'm not going to tell you anything else. Um, it's a really good movie. It's full of twists and turns. It's not what you expect. Um, and that's all I want to say because I don't want to ruin it for you. So let me just write down a few things that I need to do. Okay, let's put this back in my planner and take a look at it, but I love how it turned out. This is really a good movie. I can't tell you a lot about it because I don't want to spoil it, but it has tons of mystery and twists and turns that you would never expect. And um, just watch carefully. That's all I'm going to say about the movie. Sometimes things aren't what they seem. Okay, so here's how my spread turned out. I love it. I love this paper. It gives the perfect feel for this movie, and I love this washi. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye guys.